Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a short update video on the internal NDs of the Pocket 6K Pro, speak about the blue shift issue and also about changes in sharpness when applying the internal NDs. And I also included um, a variable ND from B&W and um, a fixed ND from Gobi in um, this comparison to see how the internal NDs compare to a high quality variable ND from BMW and also some more cheaper fixed NDs from Gobi. They're called Earth now. So in, in this time I um, did not set a fixed white balance but adjusted the white balance um, manually to the white part of the passport. Um, but still it's not exactly accurate, as you can see. Let me open the scopes and also open the power window. Yeah, so when automatically white balance with a white card, it's not exactly white here. Um, so, but it's it's really not that far apart. So let's let's have a look at ND two. As you can see, when switching back and forth, there's really just ever so slightly shift towards blue as you can see in the vector scope most clearly and you can also see it in the waveforms but this is really really a minimal shift and um, that's what I also told some of you guys in the comments that when the white balance is set correctly then the shift in um, shift to blue is even less pronounced than when setting some arbitrary fixed white balance. So ND4 again a, again a little shift to blue but if you compare it to um, ND0 it's also very minimal and where you start to see um, a larger shift towards blue is really when you apply the ND6 so if you compare ND0 and ND6 then you can see that there is definitely more shift towards blue and this is where you also start to see it in the final image so this is ND0 and you can see in the black parts of the image that it's uh, the shadows are warmer and when you go to ND6 then you can really see that the shadows are or the, the, the entire image is more blue and if you switch from ND0 to ND2 this is what I said. This is really not not noticeable by the naked eye, especially if you have some more appealing, moving, exciting images um, and you don't switch back and forth constantly. ND0, ND4, there you start to notice that um, some parts of the image are a little more blue, but it's um, I would say it's also minimal, but then ND6, as I said, it's clearly visible but it's also easily correctable so if I just perform um, a white balance based on this white part here you can see no problem at all the um, the waveform lines here start to um, align so this is no color shift that is um, difficult to correct so now, this is the B and W variable ND. It's um, also not a cheap, a cheap um, ND, and um, also yeah, quite good one. But um, when you take a look at at what happens here in vector scope, so this is the ND zero, and when you go to the B and W, you can clearly see that it shifts towards yellow and red so even with this high quality variable ND you see a color shift and this is also very noticeable in the image so ND0 and the B and W variable D you can see that this is really much warmer it has um, also definitely a color shift and the same is true for this not so expensive fixed ND from Gobi or from Earth. 
So this, let me notch the, the scopes again. So if you go from ND0 to ND8, so this is the ND8 um, from, from Earth, you can even see a much more pronounced color shift towards um, cyan. Yeah, take a look at the vector scope, clearly shift. So this is also what I said in the comments most and the filters exhibit some kind of color shift. So I'm more than fine with the minimal shift in ND2 and ND4 and also with the more pronounced shift in ND6 of the Pocket 6K Pro, um, especially considering the fact that it's easily correctable. And then I also wanted to check if the ND filters have an influence on the sharpness of the image. And um, I shot this at f4 with the sigma 17 to 50 and it is at nd0 up to nd6 and just let's go into the 200 percent view so this is nd0 between nd0 and nd2 i don't see any difference in sharpness between nd0 and nd4 again I'm not able to notice any difference. Also increase the shadows and midtones a little bit. So I don't th I don't I don't think that there is any difference. And then ND0 and ND6 again no noticeable change. In sharpness so this is also again very reassuring so that the the internal NDs indeed have a very high quality they have slight blue color shift um, most pronounced in the um, ND6 filter but easily correctable and um, there seems to be no change in sharpness of the image so I can only repeat myself I'm really happy with the performance of the Pocket 6K Pro and also especially with one of the main and greatest features, the internal NDs. That's all fine. Um, what's the main problem at the moment for me is um, indeed that the white balance of the LCD is definitely a little too cool when you compare it to an attached monitor. It's cooler definitely and i'm also not able to activate imported LUTs but i hope that this all can be fixed in a future firmware update so at this point i definitely am not considering returning the pocket 6k pro because if you really analyze the situation with the nds you start to notice that it's really not an issue at all so i hope this was helpful please leave me a comment and let's discuss in the, in the comment section about the internal NDs, 6K Pro, whatever. Um, hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.